Hey everybody, my name is Spammels and welcome back to Home Sweet Home. I don't know how to really describe the previous episode. We woke up in some weird place. Our beloved wife Jane, she's gone missing and the little cubby hole underneath our staircase leads to some sort of nightmare realm. Now, we're currently in the police station trying to find our wife whose screams can be heard coming from a room nearby. So, without any more stalling, let's begin! Welcome back to the game, everybody. Here we are in the police station. Well, it was. It's very quiet all of a sudden. Hi, flashlight. Whoa! Right, so... We were on the third floor, but we got the key going down to the first floor, I believe. And I think our wife was like through this door. No, that's a lie, because we can go through here. Was this the stairwell back here? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, we had a giant monster chasing us across there. He seems to have gone away. Wait a second. Is this broken? No. I could swear that our wife was coming from behind there. Okay, well, let's just push onwards. We definitely have a key. That's what's confirmed. Maybe it was this door that we can't open. Yeah, that's the one that's locked. Oh, no, that door's gone. I forgot it did that. I quite like that mechanic. It's definitely very apt in horror games. Oh. Jane. Jane. Oh, honey, I'm coming. Open the door. Scream if you can hear me. There's a post-it note that we can't read. I got to go through the third floor at night a lot lately. If I don't return the key, I'll leave it in the safe in my office. So we need to go to the office of the commission deputy. That's his name. Quits out of that. And here's a key for the first floor. Now, I did some research in between this episode and the previous episode. And the game does have VR capability. Now, it's not currently installed, so like the game, it kind of tries to boot in VR, but it's not currently actively supported. But it's on the way. The game's developers said that they will be releasing very soon a, um, a dedicated version of the game for HTC Vive and I believe the Oculus Rift. So I'm, I'm quite interested in that. I feel like we're going to get there too late. Like we'll have completed this game. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Maybe it's worth a revisit in VR. Is someone having a poop? Don't be... Mate, okay. Ah, you, whoa, whoa, whoa. I wasn't expecting that. I really wasn't expecting that. Well, oh, you're a very polite demon for flushing the toilet behind you. Wow, okay. Jump scares, one minute, close that door. Oh my God. I legit thought it was just gonna be like an audio cue and you open up the door and be like, oh, there's nobody there. But no, there was a demon having a poop. He must've gone down the toilet, okay. He, he was probably just as scared as me. Like, oh, human, don't be coming in here. I'm pooping. Now we have a legitimate reason to check all the bathrooms. We've mentioned this in the past, but isn't it kind of curious how in many games that include toilets, especially horror games, you always, Put your face right down it, looking right into that pan, looking for something like, like, it's going to have some sort of mystery to life. Oh, there's the police force. And that must be the guy we're looking for. Commissioner's room. That, that, I don't know that language, but I'm guessing that says police station commissioner's room is nearby. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know why we have this, this nature to peek into toilets. But you know what? In this case, it might just work out okay. Oh, hi, storage room. So, I mean... Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I get it. I get it. It's there. I can't interact with it. I'm trying to. We'll come back to that later. I got a feeling that's going to be like a way of escape. Something bad's going to happen and we're going to get trapped and have to go through there. Open this. That doesn't want to open. Oh, okay. Well, the mirror actually is a mirror. But if you look straight at it, you get nothing. Okay. Oh, hi. Police stations are never creepy, especially when they're empty in horror games. Yeah, we don't have enough horror games in virtual reality. In part one, we had a pretty cool monster. It was the monster that got me hooked on this entire game. It's that kind of grudge-like the ring monster, you know? And I don't know, I'm kind of hoping that she returns. We're so early in the game, we, we, we really can't tell what type of game this is going to be. Because we had her, maybe she was the first monster, and then we had... Excuse me? Did somebody breathe in my ear? I was talking, and I swear I heard someone speak over me. Oh, screwdriver. Take this. Yeah, I need that. I need that. Can I have that? I got it. We can now take down that vent. That's important for reasons. Can I go any higher? Nope, I can't. Okay, we're going back to that vent. Yeah, it's possible that these nightmares, well, they were seemed to be from what my wife Jane wrote in her diaries. Like she wrote about having a nightmare about this giant that was following her and wouldn't leave her be. Well, we saw that giant. Maybe that is monster number two. 
And as we go through this, we're going to have different monsters. And that, I welcome that. That might be interesting. We're back by the toilets. Why? Why do I care about this? Okay, well, let's just keep on looking. I want the commissioners. Oh, there's a report here. A preta is a type of ghost widely known throughout Buddhism, Hinduism, and related religions. It is said to be the ghost that suffers with eternal hunger and thirst. There is a belief that those who committed deadly sins, such as thievery, while living, will be reborn as a preta. Thai people also believe that harming your parents will result in direct rebirth as a preta. The preta is usually de depicted as a tall creature, as tall as a palm tree, and hand, a hand as big as a fan palm leaf, a mouth as small as a pinhole. It will live its life suffering with all the sins it has done. I like how they kind of crowbar, don't beat your parents. Kind of get out of jail free card for all parents. Do it, or you're gonna come back as a giant preta that can't drink and is very hungry. Okay, well that must have been what we saw on the rooftops, a preta. I can't get into any of these rooms. Names of the people on the desk. Please, Captain. Oh, a hint of something. Oh, this. 080901. Okay, we have a password. That's super handy. Oh, oh, and there's a... Oh, 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 the, the, point, the arrow is pointing at the bottom of the dial. We're looking at the top, right? But that's not correct. The bottom is now, instead of 80, it is 08. Oh, 01. Hooray! We worked it out, aren't we, clever sausages? Police station, level three key. Right, now brace yourself. That bookcase will fall and it will block the passage, but we've already opened up the vent so we can get past it. Watch it now. Watch it! Oh! I wasn't expecting a hand! But the bookcase did block the passageway, so I got it half wide. That's half a Brucey bonus of a point if I don't say so myself. Look at this. Oh, we are one step ahead of that pretter. Is a pretter prat right now? Wait, hang on. I need. I'm losing my voice. I've been recording a lot recently. I've been. Let's not go any higher up this. Fine. Yeah, open. We have a key. Open it with the key. Jane's voice on the third floor. Find a way in. Is that Jane? Jane! Well, this is your wife. Jane! Jane! Is that Jane? Follow her. You think you would uh, recognize your own wife? Okay. Trophies and stuff. Let's just run after Jane. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Command and Control Operations Center. Who it is? Is that the Motorcycle Theft Gang Capture Plan? Oh! Yeah, they mentioned that on the radio, but I didn't really pay much credence to it. She must have gone up, right? Latest report from Yasutong Police Radio Station on Mr. Pichai Menepeden's chase. The police says the Pichai, the suspect of robbery cases and the leader of the gang, has run into a truck, which resulted in a sharp steel rod piercing through his left eye. Mr. Pitchoy was pronounced dead on the spot. The police are now collecting all the evidence for further investigation. There are still a number of bikers fleeing. Please call 02650. If you have seen anyone suspicious, the line will be available 24 hours a day. This is Sisu Pungsuat reporting. Oh, 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 and there's a little transcript right there. That's amazing. So why do I care about this motorcycle gang? Yeah, I need to hook that. That's blocking the door. I need to lower down that winch and pick up that package. Why is the motorcycle gang relevant to this? My wife is missing. Did they kidnap her? She's having nightmares. I'm now trapped in a nightmare by accessing through the, the cubby hole underneath my stairwell. Hooray! All right, pick that up. Stay up here. Right. Oh, I've got to go down and pick it up, okay? We'll be back. Any monster boos or boogity boos around? Stay away! I'm a busy person looking for my wife because I were quite like my tummy rubbed. All right, hook that in. Okay, we just, mate, that's that giant, that's that monster thing. That preta. Well, what's up here? Hang on, we can't come up here and ignore the rooms. Oh, that's creepy. I don't know, I think a building site's more creepy than just an empty house. I don't know, it's something about that kind of unfinished chalk-like state. Oh, that's like... Oh, Blair Witch, a little bit. Okay, downstairs. Downstairs we go. Yay! Oh, speaking of Blair Witch, I don't know why, that appeared in my uh, YouTube recommended feed recently. And it kind of, I don't know, maybe because I've been playing horror games and stuff, it just made me recapture memories when that film first came out. 
That was so groundbreaking when that came out. It was kind of the origin. There's the monster. It was kind of the origin of this found footage kind of genre that we're so kind of accustomed to today. He's on to me. Hi, sweetheart. How are you today? Oh, wait, wait, hang on. The biker gang, the leads are crashed and a steel rod pierced one of his eyes. That monster's only got one eye. Were you once in a biker gang? Did you die and become a pretzer? Right, can I try this door? That's a nope. Get to here. Saw nothing, you saw nothing. Carry on. Go, 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 make go faster. Little steps make big strides. <laughs> Oh, that's quite a cute little saying. Little steps make big strides. That means we're going to get far. Not by rushing, but by one step at a time. You know, you're not very scary. We've been over this in the past. I'm more a paranormal kind of horror guy. Not fantasy monster. Although the jump scares, they still get me. Go away. Shoo. You're not impressing anyone with your really big head. Do I got to run for that door? Mate, go back the other way. I don't know if he looks this way enough. I don't think he does. Just run. He's onto me. He's onto me. Run! Oh, wow. What sort of office building is this exactly? It's got like an inner courtyard of all the offices facing into it. It's unlike any police station I've ever seen before. Where am I going? Back behind that desk? Okay, when he looks, I go. He looks, I go. Just like that. Hey, how is it going? He saw nothing. He saw everything. I'm chancing my luck really fine here. Oh my god, how did that work? Okay, that. Go, just go, 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 go. Oh, take that, you pretzel. Okay, and. Whoa, hands, hands, hands. There he is. He's a creeping. Just keep running, keep running. I wasn't expecting that, I really wasn't. This is turning into like a haunted house, kind of. Oh, damn it, Jane. Where did you go, Jane? Jane, answer me, where did you go? There's a note, special edition, Preta Insight, chapter two. And it reads, a Preta is a lost soul trapped in an eternal torture from its sins. The agonizing hunger and thirst cause it to mourn painfully and creepily all night long. A food offering is the only way to calm the pandering Preta. Set up an offering on the table with a colorful tablecloth and once lit scented, and, and one lit scented incense, okay. Food on table, incense stick, and then light it. Okay, we're now gonna romance and dance that better. Hi, baby. Wait, am I the food? Are you setting me? Jane? Tim! No! Don't follow me! Jane, it's me! Keep away from me! Ah! Oh, look at your lovely postrels. I love your postrels on your tummy tum. It's okay, I'm gonna feed you. Find a way to calm the predator. Okay, matches. I need them. That's something I need. I need incense. Well, I see some colorful cloth. Right, is he gonna hurt me? Okay, mate, yes. He wasn't happy. Okay, we're gonna go from table to table. Oh. What does that mean? I need a colorful cloth. Well, that table is a sacrifice, basically. Oh, he's on to me. Run and hide, run and hide. I didn't realize he was going to be grabbing tables like that. There's a doorway across there. That's where I want to get to, okay? That's the goal. That's the dream. Get behind this. You saw nothing. Stop being a douche. Nearly there, nearly there. Push a little further. Went so close. Just run. Yes, mate! Oh, there's windows. Close the windows, please. Open this, open this. They're locked? Really? Oh my god, this game is not asking for much, is it? We want an offering, okay? So you need food and incense and, you know, to light those incense. But you're also going to need some keys and uh, some floorboards and other stuff. But here's a key. Cupboard key. I put that hands down. That's what I'm talking about. Now run straight back. You saw nothing. 
Okay, straight to the cupboards. I open up the cupboards. Yeah, I have the key. Mate, I've got the key. There you go. There's one of the keys. We have action comics and a piece of mysterious photograph. Why do I... What? It's going to have a secret on it that I can't possibly read. Incredible. I need another key for the incense. Okay, let's go get that key wherever that key may be. Oh, over there. I see where it is. It's nothing here, dude. Chill. Oh, for that light to move away, and I'm going to run and duck and cover. Okay, go. Under the table. Got the key for the cupboard. Back we go. Is he going to pick this up? No, he's not. Oh, he's onto me. It's, it's going to be real. It's going to be like any second now. Beating this down. Go. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, sir, failed in your pursuit to end my existence. But you know what? I'm such a nice guy. Is he's, he's doing something. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm not happy about it. I'm not going to lie. He's swamping and stomping. I'm trying to... Okay, he blocked the door. I have a screwdriver. Yes, mate. I'm going to pry open these boards with my new screwdriver. Although that is the second screwdriver we've had now. I don't know what happened to the first one. We must have dropped it. I've got everything I need. I just got to get it in front of him. Light it. And then he will be particularly happy. Yeah? Wait, I'm missing food, aren't I? Okay, we have the incense. And I found some dumplings on the right-hand side of the room. So I now just got to get back to him. I kind of found like a safe spot. But I need to get to that back wall. If you're up against that wall, he can't see you more or less. Look over there. Look over there. Or oh, that way. That way. Yeah, look over there. Go, 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 go. Yes, Power Rangers. You did it. The end is in sight. Now get to that. Okay, he's onto me. I, I hold the shift button to run, but he doesn't really care, to be honest. He's like, well, I've already started moving at a slow pace, so I'm going to stick to this. I'm a man that commits. Go, go, go. Under that table. Under the table. <laughs> okay, we're safe. All I have to do is step out and give him the offering. I've already put the incense down, or the, the can I mean, the uh, matches, I think. Go. Uh, dude, up. Yes, mate! Look what I've made for you! It's a dumpling incense surprise. Push that down your, your like, I don't know, your little peephole pea-sized mouth. Nom, 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 nom. Who's a happy boy? Oh, and he's gone. Goodbye, sweetheart. It was lovely meeting you. Don't be afraid to call back again in the future. I'll have the place tidied up for you next time. And he's gone. Okay. Janie Poo, the, the monster darling, has left us. Do you have a note for me or anything? Oh, I didn't get to read it. Sorry. It probably... Oh, the door closed by itself. That's remarkable. Oh, where did she go? Where did she go? She ran away. She said, don't follow me. Jane is, is here. Find her. Well, I'm, I am looking. Oh, that's not terrifying. Little dolls. And it's a, a dead doll by... Wow, creepy. Just a wee bit creepy. Yeah, Jane's like, don't follow me, baby. Because bad things are happening. What's this? Jane's diary. I was up during the night again. Not in the bedroom, but in the middle of the house. Seems like I couldn't get a hold of my senses. I couldn't shake off that feeling that I was being watched from outside of the house. It felt as if something that... It felt like it was that thing that tried to kill me in that nightmare. Jane, what is it? Why are you like this? It's almost like your nightmares are coming real. And that door is locked. Okay, well, you know what? I think now we're taking care of that predator. He should be gone. And you know what? Good riddance. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't at all interested in that predator. He wasn't... Oh, that's the portal back to the house. Dream over? Oh, yes? I think so. I'm more ghosts and spooks and, like, a mystery and poltergeists and monsters. But that was kind of like a fantasy monster that it just... I don't know. It wasn't scary. It was just... A monster that can brute force itself onto you. Okay, now the house. Jane's still there. I need to get her out. Find a way back to help Jane. Well, that's impossible to get to. There's things in my way. How else could I get under there? Yeah, the house is turning kind of Silent Hill. A door is locked. All right, we're going to chisel through the bathroom wall into the underside of the stairwell, okay? 
No? Okay, bit too far-fetched. We'll come back to that idea later. Do you remember that one Silent Hill game, um, the apartment or the room? I forget what it was called. That was the only Silent Hill game I ever enjoyed. Pick that picture frame back up, that's important. It was like you're in your uh, apartment and you can look for the peephole and you can see kind of society going by. Look out the windows and see the streets down below, but it's like nobody else can see you. And then like as you go on through the game, the apartment becomes more and more decrepit and... Well, Silent Hill... Oh, that's not spoopy. Silent Hill-esque. Piece of mysterious photograph. Oh, we found one of those inside the nightmare. When I start to piece these back together, there's a picture frame here. With a torn picture as well. Let's go upstairs. Wait a second, did you notice how the guy... They blurred out the face of the guy, but the girl is completely intact. Let's go upstairs. Okay, a girl just giggled. Do we have a girl? I don't think we did. This was Jane's office that is locked. Creepy baby bear thing by the bedroom. Okay. So, giggling. I don't know where the giggling's coming from. It comes and goes so quickly. Okay. You closed that door. I wanted to go to bed anyway. See? Look, lights out. Oh, no. Oh, no. In the wardrobe. The monsters are normally in the wardrobes. Let's try opening the door that was closed. Hi. Okay, come out. I've had enough of this. Jane is missing. I'm not having no ghosty ghouls up in my house playing silly buggers with me, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing things. I'm hearing things. That's, that's definitely it, right? That's got to be it. Oh, the TV's on. 94. Is it a countdown? 93. Oh, have I got a time limit to, to do this? Please don't say that's the case. Okay, well, let's just wait this one out, I guess. 13. Is it stopping on 13? Oh, and the TV turned off. But it's still making weird sounds. Now it's off entirely. Well, thanks for that. Spoopy TV counting down to 13. What does that mean? Something's up above. But what could it be? I think it's in the bathroom. <gasps> Hello? Are oh, you going to be in the shower? I forgot the name of the lady we gave in episode one. Well, there's nothing in there. Let's go to the phone. It's like the, the audible clues are pushing me around this bit of the map. Jane, baby, is it you? I think it said get out now. I'm pretty sure it said get out now. Hey, did this this was locked before? Somebody been in my office? Well, evidently so. Papers, they're important for reasons. Jane's diary. Just got back from a special treat at Rowan Sarut, our favorite place since we started dating. One of those special days, of course, because Tim was promoted to senior technician. It warmed my heart just to see how ambitious he was. It felt uneasy, though, with, with what he did for me. Tim was so dedicated to his job. I mean, look at me. Whatever. It's all right. I will do my best to get on top of my career, too. Next book is truly going to be a hit. That's the... Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Poltergeisty peoples. A contact list of people Jane would possibly go to. That's great, but there was stuff floating in the sky. I'm loving the, 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 the slams. I really am. Oh, hi. I just tried opening you. Tim. Tim. Hi, baby. It, it's in the corner. It's right there, Tim. Hey, there's nothing there. She had been hallucinating. Her dreams were coming to life. Almost like her dreams, her nightmares rather, escaped into the real world. Or our world was getting sucked into the demon world. Well, there's nothing in the corner. Did I leave the room? <laughs> ah! Jesus, I wasn't expecting that. My heartbeat had rested. There's like uh, ambient music really low. Thanks, door. Oh, look at that bathroom. Someone's remodeled it. 
I love what you did. Oh, wow. That's so inviting. Nothing says... Oh, that's the portal of blood that we saw back in episode one. Goodbye, house. I hope to see you again. The door closed. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yep, I got pulled through. That's fine. I was expecting that. I really was. Where are we? Oh, the blood's on the ceiling. A star for consistency. I think that we're kind of back in the same realm as the first part of the game. I hope that's the case, because that's the stuff that scared me. Find Jane. Yes, Tarzan. The air conditioning, ventilation, shafty things. Let's try to pick up the pace a little bit. This door is locked. Bins to my side. A mousy squeaky poo. Another doorway that's locked. Oh, hi, Jane. Going for a jog, are we? Oh, do wait up, darling. I can come with you. I'm tremendously great at sporting. The door creaking open suggestively. It's saying, come into me. I love it when you come inside me. The doorway said to the human as it passed through it. Jane's diary. What does it say? I waited until the break of dawn, Tim. You didn't stray, did you? I know he was so caught up with his job. I didn't want to be overthinking. He did mention that he would be working harder. Oh, Tim, my dear. Well, Tim sent me a picture. As usual, this time he stood next to Do. Do. Tim told me once that Do was his childhood best friend. They looked so adorable next to one another. I wonder if they are still close friends. Are you now having nightmares about Do? Am I having like an affair with my childhood friend Do? Uh, do you really think that's happening? Ha ha ha. Okay, bad jokes aside. This is follow the rage that she ran. Trying all the doors along... Oh, jeez. Jane, stop running away. Please. You're not Jane. You're not Jane hiding the locker. She's right behind me. That... Wait, the locker had a grate on the front of it. Why? This one's upside down. Jack, and she's still there. Wait. Wait! This is completely different. That's why they blocked up the... Oh, now we're back in the police station? Hi, Jane. Jane? Jane, Come wait! On. Please! Why are you running away? Jane. It makes no sense! And there she goes. The most smartest, intelligent woman in the universe. In the whole galaxy. There's no one smarter than her. Hi, giant monster. Are you going to come back? Maybe. We'll think about that. Okay, well, this is head blindly that direction. Maybe something incredibly awesome is going to happen. Hi, classroom. I'm hearing tippy-tappy sounds. You know what? Like, if I was playing more casually, I might be kind of tiptoeing through that room. But you know what? I've got a mission. Who are you? I don't think I'm supposed to get this close to you. Yeah, I'm going to backtrack a teeny bit. Where am I going? Hi. I have a flashlight. Would you like to see? Shoot! Oh, she's coming, she's coming. Oh, she's here, she's here. Stop screaming at me, I don't like you! No, E, E, yeah, I'm gonna win this battle. Look at me, I won. Get down! Okay, where am I going? There's a locker here, mate, could you go any slower? Please, consider going faster. She can see straight inside! Yes. Hi, darling. It's me. Was it uh, Samantha? I, I think you were called Samantha. Goodbye, Samantha. She's saying, why is this happening? There she goes. Goodbye. We won't speak of this. Yeah, you go back that way. I wanted to go that way as well. Clearly. Mate. Uh Saw nothing. I'm hiding. Oh, she's on to me. Mate, run! Okay, I'm, I'm good at this. I'm good at this. I'm not winning this time. Okay, I won this time, but only just. Doodle, I need you to go a bit faster. Okay, make the running happen. That door's going to be locked. Into here. Incredible. Okay, dead end, but we can hide. Hold. Oh, okay, now I actually have to hide. I like that. That's a much smarter system. Rust, oak, and water. Well, why am I hiding? She's not here. Oh, at least we're back to the good monsters. I only wish I knew where I was going. Oh, she's opened that doorway up. Thank you, Samantha. Are you showing me the way? Oh, that leads to that corridor with the one locker that I hid in, I believe, maybe. We'll try it. Just to confirm. Yes. 
Right, where am I going? Oh, I got to make stuff. Wait, back out. So, water plus oxalic and a bit of rust. So, chemicals, products, cabinet key. Okay, I need to go get some things. Apparently. Where'd the thing go? Oh, hi, there! <laughs> and that triggers... Screamy lady! Stop it, stop it! I'm hiding, you won't find me! You won't find me, but you did find me! Stop slicing me! Okay, you know what? I'm going to call that an episode there. This has been a bit of a weird episode, I'm not going to lie. I'm not really... I don't know, I don't know if I'm feeling the game so far. I'm going to wait and see maybe what you guys feel about this. I, I'm not one to abandon a series, but like, when we played the demo last year, it was just that first level, and that was amazing. I love that demon, that lady, that grudge, like, ah, oh, thing. But then, like, going forwards, I don't know, the story, it feels kind of strange to me. This basic premise of find Jane and we keep seeing Jane and much like those annoying kind of horror tropes of they just keep running away it's almost like we're not chasing Jane but we're chasing an image of Jane I don't know but I uh, have these monsters they're not doing it for me and the horror I don't know it's kind of watering down quite a bit it's turning more puzzles less about horror I think I liked it better when it was a walking simulator because that's like a spook house ghost train you know and that, that made me fun. That, that was cool. Clearly, we got to make some po uh, acid or something for some reason. And you know what? I don't even know what I'm going to do with it after we make it. So, I don't know. I'm going to maybe leave this up to you guys before we go any deeper into this. Well, we're two episodes maybe out of six. So, we'll see. We'll see what happens. If you want to carry on, I'll carry on. I'll, I'll follow your guys' advice. But if you're not feeling it and I'm not feeling it, maybe we should just kind of cut our losses with this one and chalk it up to a bad start. Anyway... If you have enjoyed it, do let me know down in the comments below. And on that bombshell, thank you for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, everybody.